what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best abilities you should be using right now on defense after the 6 AP update. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you were searching around YouTube for Mutt 23 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your ultimate team, you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so yesterday we dropped a video going over all of the best abilities you should be using on offense and last week after that 6 ap update happened on thursday we also put out a video going over my personal mutt team and the breakdown and all of the abilities that i'm using on my specific players on my squad we're going to link both of those videos down below in the comment section as a pinned comment make sure you go check them out for now let's go ahead and talk about the best defensive abilities we're going to break it down into positional groups we're using mutt.gg you can always go to this site mutt.gg slash abilities great resource for looking up abilities finding out how much ap it costs on specific players it's your mutt bible at the end of the day so we're going to start with defensive ends and outside linebackers and at the end of the day in my experience and opinion uh, i'm still going to say that the unstoppable force x factor which you can only find on a handful of players so you got like Groot these are all aka cards Groot which is Gregory Rousseau uh, Shaq Maniac Leonard the Milkman JJ Watt really inexpensive option same with Demarcus Lawrence and Tank and then Furious George George Karloftis uh, this is the best way to get pass rush at the end of the day and being that it still only costs one AP it's still a viable you know source to get pass rush even with the six AP limit now if you don't want to use any of the aka pass rushers or you can't afford any of the cards because some of them are fair expensive the second best combination to get a pass rush on outside linebackers and defensive ends is going to be edge threat elite plus double or nothing so you want to rock both of these together it's not going to be as effective and i only recommend this if you can get it for one ap so there's a handful of players that get double or nothing for zero ap and edge threat elite for one ap and vice versa edge threat elite for free and double or nothing for one ap so you can use that combination but again it's just not going to be as effective some other abilities that you can use on those outside pass rushers but listen clearly only if you can get them for zero ap uh, there's a handful of them so secure tackler and tackle supreme very very good there to stop those aka running backs those guys that get those x factors uh, under pressure is another very good one though it's a little bit outdated and everybody's using fearless these days so it's not as effective i think two abilities that are really underrated in my opinion and again only if you can get them for zero ap are going to be no outsiders this is really good against like stretch run plays it's basically outside run plays which can be very tough to stop against faster running backs and just you know good offensive line with secure protectors and then the other one and we'll talk about it with our other position groups as well but it's going to be run stopper if i can find it here mutt.gg doesn't rank it very high and again i don't think it's the greatest ability in the world but i think it's severely underrated and if you can get it for zero ap even if it's like a backup player on your defensive line that you might want to substitute in very obvious running situations that's a good strategy to stop or slow down the run i mentioned under pressure early earlier again good for outside linebackers and defensive ends but you can also use it only if it's zero ap on defensive tackles and another one that's going to be good on defensive ends and defensive tackles but you only need it one time and you only want it if it's zero ap is going to be defensive rally which essentially impacts your ability to get a better pass rush on third and fourth downs across the entire defensive line so only for zero ap you can go defensive ends outside linebackers or defensive tackles and that will kind of segue us over to the best ability for defensive tackles uh, aside from under pressure and defensive rally the best one without a doubt and if you can get it for zero ap that's absolutely great but i wouldn't be mad if you spent one ap on it it's going to be inside stuff which is very helpful against inside zone plays and halfback dives basically inside runs if you're running a dollar formation for the most part you really need to have that on the one nose tackle or defensive tackle that you have on your defense and some of the other abilities we've already mentioned as well again only if you can get them for zero ap i would would recommend on defensive tackles uh things like double or nothing a uh, run stopper which we talked about a uh, tackle supreme and also secure tackler as well uh, which will be very good against those aka running backs these were two of my favorite abilities tackle supreme and secure tackler before the 6 ap nerf i had it on a handful of players now that they've done that you really have to be creative and look for those guys who get it for zero ap but those are the best abilities across your entire defensive line a lot of you don't even use linebackers or middle linebackers 
on your field. You're probably running safeties in the box as sub linebackers for your user. But if you do happen to have a you know a typical middle linebacker or outside linebacker that plays pass coverage, make sure you have Lurker on them. Really, I wouldn't recommend spending one AP on it because there's so many players that get it for zero AP. They kind of ruin that Harold Carmichael backyard ballers card by not giving that uh, Lurker for zero AP. But that's going to be your best ability for middle linebackers and pass pass coverage linebackers if you want to go with any ability of the following here which we're going to talk about is going to be deflator okay so here's deflator you can read the description more ball carry fatigue on non-conservative tackles so basically hit sticks uh the other one is going to be crusher if i can find it i think it's back up here on the gold tier abilities so crusher is a good one again only if you can get it for zero ap heavy ball carrier fatigue on hit stick tackles and then the final one would be enforcer which i think they're going to rate down here as well in the silver tier abilities uh, with enforcer uh, defenders with this ability don't allow broken tackles when hit sticking ball carries regardless of the runner's size or power so another good one but you know you can use any one of those on middle linebackers and some safeties as sub linebackers are going to get it as well uh, but only if you can get it for zero ap we kind of have to group middle linebackers and safeties together for you know the most part because a lot of people use them as linebackers sub linebackers for their users um, if they're going to be in the box same thing is going to apply. You don't need Lurker because safeties get jumping animations, whereas middle linebackers do not. But you can go with Crusher, you can go with Enforcer, uh, you can go with Deflator, you can also go with Tackle Supreme and Secure Tackler, which we've, which we've mentioned uh, a handful of times. If they're going to be a middle linebacker and you're typically not using them, you can always look at things like Mid Zone KO and Flat Zone KO. Those are pretty solid AI abilities, though I would only use them on safeties in the box that get it for zero AP. I think there's better ways to spend your AP on safeties uh, in mid zone KO doesn't work enough in my opinion uh, nor does flat zone though I know a lot of people like that one if you're going to play your safeties up top right they're going to be covering the deep passes and, and everything over top and, and on the outsides um, you're definitely going to want to go with deep out zone KO, deep out zone KO we're going to talk about this with cornerbacks it's probably one of if not the best abilities on defense because of knockouts and here's a little pro tip that I learned way too late in the year don't click on. I know like the, the natural thing for me to do is like I want to make a, a play myself. I want to be the superior player and show that I have stick skill, but you just get more KOs if you don't click on. It's stupid and I hate it and I don't think it'll be this OP next year, uh, but deep out zone KO on your safeties who play up top is definitely OP. Just don't click on. And if you do find yourself playing a lot of man coverage, like I played a lot of spinner for many months uh, where my safeties were in man coverage all the time, you're going to want to go with deep route KO. I don't really do that as much now i have them more so in zones so we go deep out zone ko but those are going to be all of your best abilities that you're going to use on safeties now a lot of the same things are going to apply on cornerbacks as well and one that i didn't mention with safeties but you can absolutely use it is going to be pick artist but only if you get it for zero ap at the end of the day pick artist is zero ap on like almost every defensive back since christmas time so it's very rare that you're not going to get this for zero ap never ever 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 spend one ap on it but you can use this on safeties you definitely can use it on corners and just like we talked about deep out zone ko and deep route ko on safeties it's going to apply for cornerbacks if you play a lot of man coverage or all the time man coverage you go deep route ko same rules apply do not click on on those instances uh, where the ball is thrown at them on a deep pass that's 20 plus yards and outside the line of scrimmage and uh, if you play a lot of zone or if you play a hybrid deep out zone ko is more powerful to me than deep route ko um that's the one that i'm going to go ahead and equip now there's only a handful of really good cornerbacks that get it for free the top tier right now are going to be champ bailey which just came out over the weekend you can see he's one million coins uh the other two that are really good are going to be charles woodson and richard sherman which are fairly expensive cards now you'll find a handful of cornerbacks that are more inexpensive uh that get the deep route ko but you may have to play man coverage all the time and you might not be comfortable with doing that but like emmanuel forbes christian gonzalez a lot of those nfl draft guys those 97 overalls they all get those for zero ap if you spend two ap out of the six total on deep out zone ko's on your two outside corners not bad at all i understand sherman and champ bailey they're just not affordable for everybody out there um but some other abilities that you can utilize on the cornerbacks are going to be inside shade there's not too many people that get it for one ap but if you can like antonio cromartie gets it he's a really good cornerback and that doesn't mean you have to shade your defense inside it just simply means that they play better in man coverage inside the numbers and it's a lot better than 
an outside shade. Like a lot of people don't even touch outside shade because it's ineffective. And that's why there's only like two people that get it for one AP that are at the cornerback position, including Marcus Peters, which was a free card from the free agency promo. Um, Acrobat is still great. It's, it's perfect before that six AP update. They made it very possible to have a ton of Acrobats on the field. There are a bunch of them that get it for zero AP, but not as many as like a pick artist. If you got to choose one over the other, I'm still going to take Acrobat, but it's very, um, it's not common to find cornerbacks that can get like Acrobat for zero AP uh, and deep route KO for one AP. If you can find that combination, very, very good. So I take advantage of it, but it, it's just tough out there uh, unless you, you're getting up a lot of the, like the newer cards that have just recently come out and those can be fairly expensive for some people. The last one we'll talk about is Film Study. I personally don't need it. I mean, if you can get it for one AP, it's solid, but if you don't find yourself easily picking up your opponent's tendencies, you might want to use it if you feel like you're a little bit more of a skilled player and you kind of can pick up on what your your, your, all, your opponent's doing all the time, stay away from it. I, you know, we kind of all overreacted when we found out Ed Reed got it for one AP, and to be honest, I've never used it since then, and I don't really even run into people that use it a lot, so it's really up to you personally, but I don't think film study is worth the one AP. I would spend that AP more on like acrobats, deep out zone KOs, pretty much all of the abilities we've talked about in this video. Uh, and there you have it. Those are the best abilities to be using right now on defense with that six AP limit. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger and I'm out. Peace.